Welcome back everyone to the final beer review of the night. Fourth one because I chucked in a cheeky little one earlier on. Uh, next beer up is one, uh, the Great Brewery. Uh, it is actually a collab this one, but I'm going to go off the main name. Uh, Great Brewery generally release really good beers all the time. And they're Imperial Stouts and that tend to be cracking. And this is another one from them. Uh, so I've got you know high hopes for this beer. So what we've got here is one from Vocation, and it's a collab with Kirkstall. And this is their number 666 Russian Imperial Style, coming in at 10.9% in a 440ml can. I think this was, I can't remember offhand, I think it was four quid, maybe 450 off uh, the Vocation website. Uh, like I say, they do some cracking beers. I'm expecting this to be cracking as well. Uh, so the artwork on the can, then if you can see coffee beans there. So as you can expect, this is going to have a, a lot of coffee in. Uh, on the back, I'll just read out the spiel. Crafted with Colliano blend number 666 coffee from our friends at Antonio and Panasar. The coffee enhances the chocolate flavours of, of the dark malt and provides a smooth, sweet finish. So chocolatey coffee big coffee hit boozy no doubt uh, I expect it's going to be really good uh, it's got oats in it and everything so it's probably going to be really nice body really smooth so uh, yeah without further ado let's get it out got to bang it in the old vocation glass on me and uh, let's see what we get I've had a lot of blinding stouts from vocation really really nice I'm expecting this to be Although it's saying a sweet finish, I'm still expecting it to be quite bitter. I'm expecting it to be pretty boozy. I've got a feeling this is is going to be one that's not going to be hiding the booze. Uh, and from England, this one. So, you know, we've been to Czech Republic, Germany, Belgium, now back at England. So here the old carbonation go in there. That is jet black jet black I wouldn't say the body looks over heavy on it at the moment the head was there but that's gone as you'd expect from a big a big imperial stout really uh, heads never last long on it but uh, yeah looks okay so let's dive in on the nose see what we get oh my god oh. <laughs> that coffee is absolutely amazing Anyone that has coffee beans at home and grinds them and that, when you get that fresh smell of coffee or if you go in a coffee shop and you get that really, really strong smell of coffee. Oh, it's, it's stunning, stunning. And there's a lovely, not really smack in your face sort of chocolate smell, but it's like a real smooth, light chocolate smell that's coming out at you. And it's got a richness about it, but it's not really feeling like really, really rich on the nose, but it's got a rich richness in there. Well, without further ado, let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh. Oh. I'm getting a little bit of warming in there. There is. You're not really getting that 11%. You're not really feeling it. It's oily. There's no sort of carbonation in there. It was there at the start, it just fizzled away. Nice body to it but not as maybe as heavy as I was expecting. It's oily in the mouth. It's round your mouth when you're drinking it. You can see it on the glass. That alcohol sort of oiliness. You see it just running down the glass there. Oh, it's warming inside now. I'm getting a little bit of warmness. Warmness, a little bit of warming.
big taste of coffee. And I would say, it might sound odd, but what you get on the nose, that sort of smell of the coffee, is absolutely exactly the same in the taste. The taste smells just like it does on the, on the nose. Her, and it's hard to explain, probably sounds a bit daft, but what you get on the nose is almost tasting it. It's, it's incredible. You're getting a lovely sort of, for me, a milk chocolatey sort of taste in there, but not big, heavy milk chocolate sort of taste. Uh, a very light chocolate taste, a very smooth chocolate taste. Almost, almost hot chocolate sort of taste in there. Oh, it's amazing. That is... I've got to admit, I was expecting it to be not, I was expecting it to be a decent beer. I was expecting it to maybe be a little bit unpleasantly overpowering with coffee. Uh, I was expecting, even though it said a sweet end to it, I was still expecting a big coffee bitterness to it. But this is, oh, it's just a beautiful coffee taste. It's like drinking a milk chocolate, hot chocolate almost with it. Mm. It's so smooth. It's unreal. It is a sipper. It is a sipper, there's no doubt in it. The alcohol, once you've had a few mouthfuls, your palate sort of adjusts to it. So although you still get it, it's sort of, you know, it was probably drinking around sort of like 9% if you like. You can probably lower a couple of percent of that once you've had a few mouthfuls because it, it sort of fades a little bit. But it's incredible. This is an absolutely beautiful Imperial Stout. Really is, uh, for me, top-notch stuff yet again from Vocation. Uh, well worth the money. It's one of them you sit down and enjoy. Anyone that likes a good whiskey, a good rum, a good, uh, any, any spirit that you sit and enjoy for what it is, this sort of drink is in, is in that kind of field. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Rich, indulgent, and no real bitterness on there. It really is a smooth, sweet finish on the end. No bitterness, the coffee is just smooth coffee, no bitterness at all, and pff, it's a cracker. So for me, this one gets a thumbs up, and if you can pick it up, it's well worth the money. Uh, lovely beer, well done Vocation and Kirkstall, brilliant. Anyone else that's had this before, let us know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, that's the last re review of the day. Uh, if you haven't subbed, please sub. If you don't want to sub, don't sub, it's up to you. If you want to be notified when I release a new video, there'll be a bell in one of these corners. Uh, give it a ding dong, you'll be notified when I release a new video or anything coming up, I believe. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Friday night and I'll see you tomorrow for some more beer reviews. Good night. Cheers.